Kevin Wilmot and Mark Von Schlimmer have spent many years working on all different kinds of films. Kevin is famous for directing The Confederate States of America, Jay Hawkers, Destination Planet Negro, The Only Good Indian, and much more. Kevin is also a professor at the University of Kansas, and Mark is mainly an editor on his films while being a professor at the University of Central Missouri, teaching film. Kevin and Mark met through a TV show based in Lawrence that Mark was working on called Silhouettes, showcasing artists and musicians in that area. Kevin wanted his film Big Man to be on the station, so he came to Mark to get it on the air. After that, Mark started taking classes from Kevin at Kansas University. Mark then started to help edit Kevin's film at the time, The Confederate States of America. From there, a partnership blossomed through film. I, 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 this guy drives me crazy. I hate him. I hate <laughs> what is it? What do you always say? I hate that guy. I hate that dude. <laughs> I hate that guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, we, you know, it's, it's great. I mean, Mark is a beautiful guy to work with, and uh, he's a great editor, but, you know, more than that, he's just a really good dude to hang out with, and so we have a lot of fun. You know, I think we both, you know, uh, believe in that concept of if it turns into work, something's wrong. You know, and and I mean, sometimes we have to work really hard. Like we've had to work really hard these yeah. last couple of weeks to, you know, because we yeah. have a deadline we're dealing with. You know, that's the thing about, you know, him being a really great editor and a professional. And, and part of that is the attitude you bring to it as well. That is a big thing, you know, in terms of, I think, um, just being a professional. You know, I mean, I you know, you get around other people, you see them get rude with people and the people lose their tempers at times. And I mean, that's just I'm no fun to be around. Oh, my and, it, and it doesn't help the creativity. And that to me, that's the great that's the, connection we have is that it's, we want to tell the story. We, if, if, if I'm working on one of his projects, I'm into it and I want to do the best we can with it. So, um, and that's the great thing about working with Kevin is that it's not, there's, you know, there's not an ego about the project. It's about how do we make this, you know, how do we make this work? It's always really open to my suggestions and, uh, and is, is also got a good enough eye to say, I don't know if that's working. <laughs> and he trusts me when I say, I don't think that's working either. Yeah, so, I mean, that's it, the, it goes back and forth yeah, all absolutely. the time. Destination Planet Negro is a film from 2013 directed by Kevin. It takes place in 1939 and is about African-American leaders reacting to the Jim Crow segregation by colonizing on the planet Mars. Instead of landing on Mars, they actually find themselves in modern-day America. Well, we always come back to the one. Is it still your favorite? Oh, Destination? Destination? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Destination. Planet. Negro. It's not becoming less relevant, too. I mean, that's part no. of it, is that it's a film that, unfortunately, the, you know, we're not really living in a post-racial society. <laughs> and so right. these things we talk about still come up in the news and we come back and say, like, oh, you know, yep. they got it's, it's in, that's <laughs> still in, there. That's in destination. They're, they're still figuring that out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. You know, I, I, I tell you, I think too, you know, there was a freedom about Destination because it was such a low budget film. Yeah. I mean, it was, there was no budget. I mean, we was, you know, Mark was good enough to really just work on the film for us. And, and that gives you a freedom and, a, and it's just about Everyone's there just because they want to do it. And, and, and that's what makes it so special, I think. The Confederate States of America, directed by Kevin in 2004, is a film through the perspective of a British documentary, showing people what life in America would be like if the South had won the Civil War. What we did with CSA was quite often what I would do was I would, you know, select deadlines. Like there would be, we'd say, we're going to screen it at this place on May 15th, and so we'd say, okay. And so we, we, we said we were gonna screen it in Kansas City at, this, at the Rio Theater. And, uh, and so we had to finish it for that, for that deadline. I mean, and publicity was getting out. We didn't do the, I mean, you know, it was in Kansas City Star, and a lot of people were interested in this film. And so I remember Mark, uh, Michonne was working on it, and, and, and people were just coming in to the editing bay and saying, and we say, we need this and we need that. And people were taking turns. We were there all day and all night for days. It was crazy. I mean, I slept there. And when we, we screened it that, that, at the premiere there, we weren't finished with the film. So we had to, we output half of the film and we took it over <laughs> to Kansas City and we put it in. And so there was packed theater. I mean, there was like 200 people there, 300 people there. You know, it was like 200 people. And, and so we put the tape in, and it was only half of the movie. And we were finishing the other half in Lawrence, as the other half was playing in Kansas City. And so 
we output that half and got it there just in time to stick it in the tape. And, and so there was no, there was no. <laughs> That's funny. Not a, not a good not plan. A, yeah, that, you know, but you, we, we you pulled what, it off. Do what you got to do. But it was really good for us because it really forced us to move the movie forward. If that deadline wasn't there, it just, we wouldn't have probably, we still might be working on it, yeah. you know? Yeah, I love when, you know, Mark's willingness to try things. I mean, I've worked with other editors, and, and it can be frustrating when they don't want to try it. And, and, you know, I mean, it may be a bad idea. It may not work. It probably won't work. But at least when we try it, it's, as Mark is saying, it's part of the, it's part of the, the really the art of editing. For me, I believe, is you try it, and then you learn something from this attempt. Right, right. And then that adds to something else, and it adds, and then Mark brings something else in, and suddenly you got something that's pretty good. You've got to be kidding me. Do they know I'm a hundred? Kevin Wilmot will continue to keep making films while Mark Von Schlimmer continues to help in the editing process. That or until they can't stand each other anymore. <laughs>